Today we'll be creating a simple clay hedgehog. First, let's talk about the materials that you'll need for your hedgehog. You need a piece of clay about the size of a fist and another piece about the size of a marble. You'll also need some kind of stick for making marks. The first thing I'm doing is taking my big piece of clay and I'm trying to get it into as nice of a circle as I can. I can roll it on my hands or on the table. Once you get a nice round ball shape, you're going to take an alligator hand and pinch one side of it. Now I'm turning it and I'm going to keep pinching and pinching and pinching as I turn it. So it's turning into kind of like a raindrop shape. This is going to be the body and the head of our hedgehog. Here I'm rolling and getting it smooth and even on all sides, still trying to keep that raindrop shape. Next, I'm going to make his ears. I'm taking my marble sized piece and tearing it in half. Next, I'm taking each of those halves and turning them into spheres. After I have both of them rolled into spheres, I'm going to squish them between my finger and my thumb to get them into pancake shapes or slabs. These two slabs are going to become the ears that go up near the top, but not all the way to the point of the hedgehog. Now, if I just set it on there, it will fall off. So I've got to be sure to pet the sides and turn them into one piece. I'm molding them into the body. So I set it on and then I'm petting the sides to make sure that they become one with the body of the hedgehog. After this, I'm pinching my nose just to shape it a little more like I like it. From here, you could change it into any kind of animal. It could be a mouse, it could be a pig, but since we're doing a hedgehog, I'm adding some marks that look like the quills or the spikes of the hedgehog by using the front end of my stick. I'm going to do this all around the back of the hedgehog's body. Okay, he's almost finished. Now we need some eyes. I'm taking the front of my stick and poking in two little eyes for my hedgehog. That's it for the sculpting part of this. After this, you would paint it. Is he going to be a natural colored hedgehog or is he going to be a rainbow hedgehog? That's totally up to you. Enjoy and happy making!